Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Check out the merch, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. You can get all these hats and all your zodiac signs, plus all the apparel that goes along with it. I hope you guys will check it out. I love you guys. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It is an energy reading. It comes to you at exactly the right time. There's no specific dates. Um, but do go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to get a new message every single week. And I hope it'll offer you inspiration and guidance toward your healing and your life progress. Feel free to leave the comments below. I absolutely love to know. Let's dig in. We got some Oracle cards in front of us. And oh, what a week it is. Loyal Hearts. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Deep knowing and building blocks. So, in terms of personally, what these cards mean to me is there is a deep sense of understanding now at this time in your life of what is truly important to you. And things, the superfluous start to float away. And the trimming of the fat is easy because it's easy to see and recognize what is most important to you. You know where your heart is. You have a deep understanding of what is true in your life, who is true to you, who matters, what matters, what doesn't. And then is the outcome of that, which is I can start to build on this. Now I know what to be, I know what to do, I know where to start putting my energy and laying my foundations. This could also be getting yourself into a healthier living situation. So a sense of movement or transformation when it comes to laying down an actual foundation of where you want to be, where you want to live, uh, I don't know if it's like a physical house that you're moving to, maybe it's a state or geology, like geographical, where whatever it is, there is a solid understanding of, I wanna start building something. What do I wanna start building? And what do I want to cut away? So it could very well be with actual building blocks, building a structure, could be building a business as well. The building blocks of this is what's important to me, this is what I'm good at, and I now I'm starting to lay the foundation when it comes to my career. It's so hard as a Sagittarius because you tend to be interested in so much. You know, it's just the world and learning in general excites you. So it takes a lot of maturity to be able to whittle that down. And maturity and life experience to help you whittle it down and help you understand, but this is what I have to focus on. This is what I know really deserves my time, energy, and attention. And I don't have to feel guilty about anything else taking my attention or time away from that. Um, this could also be, for some of you, a comprehension of the truth of a, a romantic situation, the truth that there is a sense of a deep understanding of who you want to be with or that somebody wants to be with you, um, preparation for commitment of some sort could also be in play here. It's like you have, something has happened to you recently that has made you realize what is important and it's not a lot. It was very amazing how much sprinkled away and it's like something has clarified a lot for you and this path or where you wanna put your energy has now become ridiculously clear. Now, let's get into tarot and see where we go from here. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What are they building? What are they building? What are they building? Okay, you're building you're building off defeat. It's almost like you're confronting a defeat in your life. Um, hold on, hold on. So the first three cards we had out were the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, which is definitely taking action through faith, 
and through certainty. And this as absolutely you could also involve um, a, a person, a, a, a water sign, um, especially if you're the, like around the age of 25 or up to 25, appreciating your good work, like people recognizing the value of your enthusiasm and commitment to your purpose. This is a real strong sense of faith, but then we got this, a defeat. I think you were defeated by something many times or that things, something had defeated you many times and probably thrown you off. Now there's a renewed sense of commitment that cannot be thrown off. We got a lot of cards that came up in the past which tells me that you're actually sifting through a lot of crap that has happened to you prior to this, which is actually what's giving you the clarity about what's important. You had illness or sickness or some sort of suffering that was keeping you up at night. This isn't that long ago about something that was stolen from you, ripped away, taken out from you, like taken out from underneath you, or maybe just sadness with regards to not appreciating something as much as you could have when you had it could also be that could have something to do with a marriage or a wedding a ceremony or some sort of officiation that never got to happen maybe you thought it was stolen from you page of wands clearly this was a new beginning something that you were there was a lot of hope around this situation you were looking forward to it beginning and it seems almost like you could almost see your future being what you always dreamed about in the past and it seems like there was some sort of suffering with regards to all of that that clarified your purpose and clarified your path forward because somehow it was all taken from you now, this is not a tragedy, Sagittarius, because what it's come to is this is what has made what is important so clear. So what now is Sagittarius looking to do? What is happening to them right now? Your world has changed, but the world itself has also changed. And I think that this is in reaction to the global reactions or global changes. There is a sense of... My world will never be what it was before. So definitely something has changed. Um, you're finally making a decision on something that you had been pondering for a while. That decision is now clear. Maybe there's a new message that comes through. There's defensiveness here. So there's a sense of you want to move forward, but something's still holding it back something that does have a defensive tendency to it. I don't know if this is a person or a fear that lives inside of you, but there is a sense of, you know, you need, you need the communication. You need some sort of communications. You're waiting for some sort of communication to come in. And as the time ticks on, you're you're getting ticked off. You're getting less, there's less and less of a chance of you actually being able to tolerate. It's like enough already. Haven't you thought about it already? But somebody needs time or they're taking their sweet time. Um, it could be that somebody um, just doesn't know what to say. Um, but I feel like, like, look at the cards. There's a sense of like this guy, look at this guy, like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. It's like, you're, you're, you're talking shit over here. <laughs> you're talking shit. And I'm sitting there waiting, like, make up your mind already. It isn't complicated. That's the energy. That's the energy that I'm picking up, this sense of make up your mind already. So there is an impatience at this point a sense of lack lack of ability to tolerate or wait much longer and even getting defensive and saying because i asked well what should you do there is a sense of take a swing at it like don't don't hesitate and don't wait because there's a sense of i've you've been through too much the nine of wands is i've been through too much to sit around and deal with this page of swords kind of flippy and bs Right, it's like it's like it's like almost like a professional having to wait on 
somebody who is new at something. I don't know how else to explain it. Like somebody who is weather worn and old and experienced having to wait on the permission or the next step or the word, get waiting for a word because it is the page of swords, waiting on a word from somebody that's all kinds of scattered and stupid. And you're like, enough of this already. This is just dumb shit. Right? There's there's a there's an there's an eagerness, but there's also a frustration here. The world card is here. It's like you're waiting on this change. This is very important. This is a foundation of your future and your your moving forward. Because remember, foundation of this reading so far are the knights moving forward, doing a good job, doing work, maybe being able to get a pay raise or move forward in your actual work. This is like the building blocks being certain now, building blocks of the new future, but somehow it's holding it. It, you're, it's being held back and there's impatience here now if you guys are watching this when it comes out it's April 25th so we are in the middle of a mercury retrograde and I can tell you that right now that does hold a lot back and for stupid reasons like it's it's not it's very difficult to rush things during a mercury retrograde because there's always something else stupid comes up Mercury retrograde then, if you guys are watching this on April uh, 25th, will be over by May 15th. So it could take out until then. So instead of getting angry and getting frustrated and causing fights, there's a sense of that will only defeat you. A little bit of patience is actually necessary, especially if you're waiting for actual communications because you know how retrogrades impact actual communications. Mercury retrogrades is just disaster for waiting for notice or waiting for something to come through. You know, it's like, it's like, no, no. Now, what is going to come of this? I think beautiful things. I love that the King of Swords is here. The Queen of Swords is here. There is maturation that is happening here. We have the King of Cups, which is a masculine water sign, somebody who is caring and loving and will absolutely be supportive, so you have support. Queen of Pentacles is also somebody who is responsible and she does things slowly but respectfully and she's extremely good with money. And then we have the Magician, so this you, that represents you making stuff happen along with a lot of other leaders. Queen of Swords is here as well saying that don't worry because there will be a decision made and there are other people who are supporting you and around you that really are going to decide, yes, you will move forward. Yes, this is the direction that you go in. Things will be very clear for you. Okay, so that's actually really good, good news. Moon card, let's, let's pick a moon card, Sagittarius. I don't know if you're going like you're, I don't know why you're, you're surrounded by a lot of leaders or a lot of adults for some reason right now. There's just a sense of a lot of people who it does matter, like quality over quantity, right? It's like you sit among them. You don't sit among the junior section. And so the universe is acknowledging that and the world is about to as well. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. And that's a really beautiful sign because the communication is going to come be bold and make the first move. So we've, we've got our sentence right there. If you want to know what you can do about it, definitely do ask. Don't, don't yell, don't scream, don't be defensive, but ask. Definitely stay on it. Don't nag, but ask. Speak. Go ahead. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So when you speak, include I understand how busy you are oh I get that this is really but but this is why it's so important to me and why I'm so excited and I'm so happy to make you a part of this kind of incorporate that global understanding of what is happening so it doesn't look like you're targeting somebody this is like a just sort of master mastermind communications but it's also saying look at what's going on right now in the world right? We do have communication errors and failures and all those other things. So um, 
pay attention. That's what I kept getting. A personal issue reaches resolution. That's really cool too. Okay, so let, let's go for timelines. Really. We have a full moon in Sagittarius that's going to be coming up in Gemini season. The sun right now, if you're watching this when this comes out, the sun is in Taurus season. On May 5th, we are going to have a full moon in Scorpio. That means by June 5th or 6th, we're going to be having a full moon in Sagittarius. So you might want to pay attention to around that time, things opening up for you, and that's when that personal issue reaches resolution. The next full moon in Cancer doesn't happen till Capricorn season. Um, but I think that we're approaching the summertime and there is a sense of people are going to need you. I don't know why that's being said, but I, I can't help but look at this and like a lot of people are making decisions with regards to you right now and it's looking really good. So moving forward, it's almost, it's almost like the cards are trying to say, Sagittarius, relax because you don't have to move as quickly as you think you do because the opportunities or the openings are there. Let's go deeper. I will see you guys in the extended. The link is down below in the description box, pinned to the top of the comment section and I've also attached it on either side in the cards that pop up. So you can click right on it and get right to it. If you're watching this on television, none of those links will, will be available for you. Grab your cell phone, your so your mobile app, your mobile YouTube, your uh, desktop or laptop YouTube, all of those, all of the links are available, fully functional. Click on that and I will see you guys in the extended.